This is the outfit of the day. I just have on these black leggings. Um, I don't really wear leggings all that much just because I'm not like super comfortable in them, but that's what we went with today. And then we got this oversized Nike hoodie, which I just love like this color combo and it's so comfortable. Yeah, and then I have this chain on because I usually have one that says Zarek, which is my son's name, but it broke. So I put mine back on and I have to reorder his because I feel naked without a chain on. And don't mind my hair, but the postpartum hair loss regrow back is definitely, um, it's coming back. So I'm thankful for it. I will definitely deal with this crazy hair. I love it, actually, because my hair is finally growing back. And I took a hit with postpartum hair loss. So, yeah. We got a package. And yes, I'm wearing Crocs, so my me. We just made it to Hobby Lobby. Okay, there's... Look at this. I like these ones. Okay, this is really what I need. Like this is so cute, but I only need three stockings on. I kinda wanna just do these ones. But these are ugly. Like they're not good. I really want to do these, but where I'm hanging them, I don't know if these will work or not. I'm going to get these and just try it. I should have got a basket. But luckily, I have a baby to hold all my stuff for me. Thank you. I'm going to do these ones. I think I'm going to do two red. And one green. I don't know who's gonna get the green one, but these are cute. Okay, I wanna do this color scheme. I guess these are cute, but. Okay, these are $5. I'll get these ones and then just some regular balls. Oh, here we go, some. They have red and gold. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to put a star or the angel. The angel is really cute. I think I'm gonna, oh, that says it's for like a little tree. I guess I'll get this star. Okay, I cannot film anymore because we're full here. I need my hand to carry everything, so I'll do a haul when I get home. Okay, we made it to the car. <laughs> I got three bags of stuff from Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure I got everything I needed, so that was good. We're about to go to Hy-Vee really quick to get some stuff out of there, but not much. And I have to go pick my nieces up. I told them an hour and a half, like an hour and 15 minutes ago that I would be there. And I'm going to tell you, in 15 minutes, they're going to be blowing my phone up. So let's go to Hy-Vee quickly. These are like my favorite. I think I'm gonna get these though. Little bells and then try and get a dish to put them in so that they're like out for the guests that I do not have at my house ever. I actually opened this Hy-Vee store in like 2011 or something, 2012, 2011, 2010, I don't even know. But I helped open it as a cashier and I worked here for like three or four years. So I'm not new to Hy-Vee. You okay, son? Okay, I have a haul from what I got from Hobby Lobby, but I filmed this like three times, so I'm a little bit um, 
on edge so i got these ornament hooks for the ornaments obviously i'm not sure if these are gonna work for where i need them to go but i really hope they do because they're cute and the other ones were like really expensive for no reason so hopefully these work i also got these two things for decor this is just like a little merry christmas um statue or something i don't know and then this gold tree. I got this um, kitchen rag for the oven. And then I got, I ended up going with these stockings. So I got two red and one green one. This is the color scheme that I'm going for, the red and green and then with the gold accent. So these are the bolts that I got. And then I got this star for the top of the tree i really wanted to get an angel but they didn't have like the right size so i did get the star and then i got this gold tree skirt and the last thing i got was this stanley dupe this was 12.99 at hobby lobby can't beat that and i needed a new cup so that was everything we got i picked my nieces up so we're about to um clean and organize my closet and get rid of a bunch of stuff that's in there because i don't wear i don't wear 90 percent of the things that are in my closet so i'm just gonna go through them and donate what i don't need anymore and hopefully it will clear up some room okay so we're okay so we're about to um please get off my bed <laughs> <laughs> cuz come on you got your outside clothes on okay i'm about to go through my closet and i need to donate like half of my closet and i also if you see this hamper right there it is full of things that need to be hung up that's all just clean clothes that needs to be hung up because i can fold and put clothes away but hanging up onto hangers i just don't feel like that's my job so okay so this is what the closet is looking like that one pink hanger right there is really irritating my soul hold on i think i'm gonna switch those hangers okay so that just looks a little better for me um so i have first of all i have my um the robe that i gave birth in i just don't want to get rid of it i think i'm putting it in zarek's memory box but he probably honestly he probably really does not want that in there but and then i have like a coat that i don't really wear and i have a vest so this is like winter clothes and then i have um two of my robes the robes i wear like the most often and then i did um crew necks because like i said in my last video i can't wear hoods at work so these are like the these are the sweaters I wear most often. And then I have my jackets right here. And then these are all sets. I didn't even know I had like half these sets were all in the back of my closet. And then I have my zip ups and hoodies right here all the way to the back. And then back there, I just have my dresses this box down there is like jeans from before I had my baby. So I need to pull them out and see like what fits and what doesn't. We have our hatch sound machine, which we could not live without. And then I have this, that three tier thing. That was just the easiest way for me to do it. Um, and then I have these three drawers, which honestly don't really have much. The bottom drawer is for my niece's stuff. So it just has like extra underwear, socks, and some t-shirts that they will sleep in. And that's pretty much it, honestly. The other two don't have anything in them. And then this is the bag of stuff that I'm going to take probably to like Goodwill or whatever. No. It is time for Lele to go to basketball practice, so...
Leah has all my clothes on because she did not come prepared today. She has my shoes, my socks, my shorts, and my shirt. That's because Grandma told me not to wear Girl, don't even try and blame that on your grandma. Okay, y'all ready? We're gonna put the tree together. The tree's gonna go over here in this um, corner. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those toys yet, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Here is all of the um, Christmas stuff that we have. And we have like a bin full, so let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna um, do a montage of it. Um, Today is the first day of Vlogmas and I'm super excited to be doing this. I wanted to start a YouTube channel for so many years and I just never did. So I kind of just jumped into it a couple months ago and I'm really excited to be able to put that content out there. When I was in high school, I actually took um, a college course in multimedia production and I've always loved to edit videos and I've kind of fell in love with also filming them. Um, so this is like a new thing for me, but it's really a good hobby that I have and it's actually something that I like to do I'm a small creator in a new channel, so I don't make money off of this, but it's really become like a passion for me um, and I love making these videos and Being able to edit them and just having a good time with it to be honest. I know that a lot of people this is their job, um, but it doesn't really feel like a job to me. And I also get to keep these memories and they will be out there forever. Um, and my nieces will be able to keep them. I am so grateful that I was able to get them so that we could put our tree up this year. I think like putting the tree up is like one of my favorite traditions and like just having the kids here and letting them help and like making those memories with them means so much to me and I'm so excited for the next couple of years where Zarek will be able to do it and um, their little sister Mila and we can all do it together as a family. I know I said this before but I'm just so grateful these days for like having my son and being um, like immersed in motherhood. A lot of people um, have, don't have the best experience and trust me like my story is definitely not um, from the outside looking in like a good story that you would tell but um, I have found the best in all of it and I'm so grateful to be able to have that mindset um, and I owe a lot of that to therapy so I am definitely a mental health advocate and I hope everyone really takes care of themselves this season. Like this season, holiday seasons are so hard on people. Um, and I just don't, I just have been there before and I just want everyone to be happy and I want everyone to win and I want everyone to just feel the love that's surrounded in the season. So if you are watching this far, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and this was the big reveal for our tree light getting lit up and I'm so excited. Zarek is knocked out in his little Christmas jeans. I'm obsessed with his little hair. This is the final look of what we have going on. I love it so much, you guys. This is the tree. And we have the um, goat. I have this tree light. Merry Christmas. This is so cute. I'm so excited. And then we got our stockings hung. Got all the ornaments on the tree. Hogwarts Express. This is from um, Panama City Beach, the sand. We have ones that were decorated by the kids after like all these years. We got the Rugrats one. I think I got this one last year. 
or two years ago. We got Santa on the beach. So cute, I'm obsessed with this. And I like the gold tray skirt. Kaya decorated this shelf. I do have a whole village, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put it up this year. This girl really wants me to put it up real bad. Cause you did put it up last year. These are glasses from Myrtle Beach from when we went on vacation. And when you put them on and you look at a light, you can see whatever it is. Whatever it is. This one is an L. Hopefully it focuses. You see, you see all the elves? This okay. next one is gingerbread man. That is so cute. And these ones are teddy bears. That concludes Vlogmas Day 1. I'm super excited to be doing Vlogmas this year and I'm so excited to have my tree up. Um, this is my first year doing Vlogmas, so subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you guys want to see and thank you always for watching. If you've made it this far, drop a Christmas tree in the comments and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2.